All right. Let me try to get into this whole um, Glorilla and FNF shit. Here we go. FNF Glorilla Hit Kid. Okay. So, if you don't know, um, Glorilla, who just blew up, is beefing with her, the guy who is the producer of the song. They're beefing over ownership rights. Okay? Glorilla claims she hasn't made any money from FNF, which, by the way, somebody needs to tell her, welcome to the music industry. The money you made from your records ultimately is going to be your publishing and whatever you got as an advance for, like, I, I think, well, how much did, did, did Gotti give her? Yo Gotti signs Glorilla for, let me see how much. Because she was flexing a lot of money for 600000 Yeah, that 600000 is you getting paid for the song. I don't know if she knows that. Like, people, people think that when you get signed, the money you get signed for is free cash. No, that 600000 is the 600000 that you're signing that they could collect all of the earnings for that song, probably like back collected and collected in the future. You're not getting paid. Like, that's your money. You're not getting paid, brother. That, that's it. Okay? So most people really don't get royalty checks because the label's going to keep you in debt. Someone said, act don't upload to another page. No, bro. Bro, you, you know I upload like, I'm I'm still on my main page. Like the fuck. Um. Anyway, so yeah, so she says she never made no money from the song. Let me see if I can just whatever. Okay, she said nigga don't made so much money from F and F and I haven't made one red cent. But I'm prospering because guess what? I could rap in real life and not no motherfucking one hit wonder. I wrote every single lyric and every single song I ever put out. And even after this, I still got love for Hit Kid because we came up even though he been going behind my back ever since the song blew up. And that's the story for another day. I just hate the fact that he had to bring the business, social media, when he could have been came out, when I could have been came out about a stink she did to me. Okay. Um, then she says, is this her? Is her? Nigga's been salty every Ever since I ain't signed to their label to be a group for zero dollars. One more thing for a logout. Nigga, you signed the song away the first week without me knowing 50K because you didn't know how big it was going to be. Should I keep going? Okay. Here's the, here's the, the whole beef with um this song. It's who owns the song. Now, let me explain you how like usually works with records. And this is why the masters matter. Whoever owns the masters, right, or the rights to the masters, owns the song. That's it. I don't care what nobody else says. That's it. Now, how is this usually uh, um, decided? Well, if I'm a producer, you, you, technically they use this word masters, but, like, it, it gets a little bit more complicated. Usually it's who, the, ma the master is usually the first copy of the song that gets mass produced. So it's the song that every other copy is going to come from, Right. But because we're in a digital age and you're not burning CDs, even though we are copying files, what ends up being the master recording, um, yes, is the file. However, it, it, it's, it's now more about the, the rights to the master. Who has the rights to it, right? Now, the rights to the master usually is, is um, for example, if you pay for studio time, right, and you bought a lease beat. You own the rights to the masters because it's your song, right? It's, just, it's basically, I don't want to get too complicated. It's basically whose song it is. Now, here's the thing. This guy, Hit Kid, I always wonder who the fuck is this, right? If it's his song, right? So say he's a producer who was doing an EP. And he said, yo, Glorilla, come jump on his beat and do the song for me, right? It's going to be on my project, right? If that's the case, which, by the way, even if she did do that, she's probably going to lie and they're going to fight it out in court. It's going to be in court. If that's the case, it's his song. For, for example, DJ Khaled songs, DJ Khaled's going to own the masters or he's going to own the rights to the masters. He'll own the rights to the masters. Sometimes sometimes the masters could also get like, you know, almost like split up depending on how many people are on the track and if people have leverage or not. You get me? Usually that's not the case. Usually it's just that person owns the masters. When you sign to a label, usually it says, yo, we are signing you that we could own the all the masters that you produce, right? Now, 
again, I'm trying to just think of what situation they have. If homies saying hop on my song, I'm putting out this song as a producer, which usually is going to be Hit Kid featuring Glorilla. If that's the case, it the, he would own the masters. Now, if he owns the masters to that song, which is a hit song, if you don't know this, that F R E E fuck nigga free song. If he owns the masters, he now she's entitled to money. Like, don't get it twisted. So, when when you do a, a split sheet, which you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to say, okay, you own the masters, which pretty much now is you own the rights to the song. But when money comes in for the song, you need to allocate how it gets paid out. So usually you do a split sheet. You, um, you could say you're getting this amount of the revenue and then the feature is getting this amount of the revenue. OK. And then sometimes the pr producer gets a very small percent. Well, in this case, I'm assuming it's his song. So in, in this case, it would be like, OK, I get a uh, say, say I'm him. I get. 50% of the uh, of the revenue, you get 50% of the revenue, okay? But that's just the royalties. Doesn't mean even if, they, if they're if they getting 50-50 royalties means they both own the song. If he owns the rights to the masters, he makes the decisions on that. You get what I mean? Now, what does that mean? If he owns the masters, he could sell the master. The master is going to be important because controlling the rights to that song that's doing a lot of streams... Number one, her label is going to want so CMG definitely wants it. You want that. You, you need to have the rights to the masters to fully monetize that shit how you want to. Right now, you know what he could do? He could do a bunch of like little distro deals, which that's what you're, you're kind of hearing her refer to when she said he sold us on for 50 K. No, he probably took a distro deal to release it some way, somehow through, I don't know, maybe on someone else's project or in a compilation and he's just getting the money. Now, granted, it's probably poor business because he should have broke the money down with her. Because, But I'm telling you, the way he's operating, he owns the masters of the song. And that's the most important thing because even though it's her voice all over the song, it don't matter if you wrote the song. If the rights to the masters is controlled by him, yeah, you should get a split on not only the publishing, but the royalties. But you can't determine what happens to the song. Whoever who owns the song gets to determine, oh, okay, we're going to do this deal with it. Oh, we're going to put it here. We're going to put it on these albums, this and third. Without the without the ownership of the master, she could never um, um, put that song on any of her projects without him signing off. And you know what he might say? For it to go on your project, I need a check. So again, the whoever owns the masters is the person who, who is the most important here, right? This is where it's going to get complicated because I believe CMG is going to try to bully him for those masters. They're going to probably look at the contracts. They're probably going to look at any paperwork that was done and they're probably going to look at it to say, you need to show that us that you really did own the masters or they're going to offer him some little bit of bread. Yo, here's a hundred K, my nigga. Get out the way. We own the masters now. You get what I mean? They obviously, they obviously signed Glorilla for a lot of money. They need to own the Masters. So they're going to try to get him out of the way. He has he, He's probably holding out for the biggest possible bag he could get from the situation. Why? He has no more stake with Glorilla. After he sells his Masters, nobody cares about him. So he's probably trying to, trying to jug and finesse and wheel and deal, trying to get the biggest bag he can because Glorilla is now a star. Glorilla is going to keep making music, right? And he only has this one master, but it's her biggest song. So, again, he's doing these side deals because that's the only way he could get paid, right? Unfortunately, a successful song is going to come between, between people. You know why? Because producers usually get the shitty end of the deal. Think about a producer who produced. I remember um, Fetty Wap said um, the my, uh, no, Trap Queen came from some nigga overseas. Right, that nigga got his publishing. He probably got some uh, got a fee for for doing the song, but Fetty Wap is now a huge superstar, and you don't you don't even have like a branded tag, so nobody really knows you. So producers always get like the raw end of the, the situation. So I think because this motherfucker has the owns the masters, he's not just trying to get cut out the situation, 
And that's all it is. The dude's just not trying to get cut out of the situation. He wants to be in the situation. And look, Hit Kid took to his Twitter account to call out the Memphis rapper. And by the way, he probably was trying to sign Glorilla to him that he could be always in the situation. And he would have did the same deal. She could have did the same deal with CMG, but he's forever tied to her career. Right? Look. Hit Kid took to his stories to call out the Memphis rapper, alleging that she and her team tried to claim ownership of the song. Bingo, exactly what I said. The producer, Hit Kid, is saying he owns it. According to him, Big Glow signed a contract for the song without telling him the terms. Again, whoever owns the song has to clear if that song's ever used anywhere. So then, I guess he wrote, so basically these folks trying to take me to court over FNF, which I told you they're just going to go to court, because they want to own the song. He's standing on it. He says, I own it. He said, but they want to own the song to put it on this EP, um, which both parties knew. So tell me how are you going to put FNF in your contract without telling me? Essentially, he's saying, it's my fucking song. He said, after I told you and your manager every day that we are in L.A. with Saweetie and that labels are going to try to sign you because of FNF, so watch out. I also told you to let me know when labels reach out so we can be on the same page, but you still went and signed my song without telling me okay let me give you another thing for example say when when pop smoke no no not pop smoke um say when um fabio foreign popped off when he gets signed right when he gets signed by columbia part of the deal is going to be that big drip which was released before he got in the deal Big Drip goes to um, um, Columbia. So Columbia owns Big Drip now. You get what I mean? Now imagine if he signs the deal. Remember, it was a $1.5 million, million deal for, um, 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 for, for, for Fabio. He signs the deal, but then it comes back later that he didn't own the song to sign that Masters away, right? The Masters is owned by the producer, right? Now again, the... the these are record labels. They, they do bully tactics. They're not about to sit here and be like, oh, no. Because in reality, and I, and I might be losing some of y'all, but I think, I, I think y'all staying locked in. The producer really, when, when the producer is saying, I told you that labels are going to try to sign you, so let me know that we could be on the same page. Well, first of all, the only thing you got to do with her deal is that they want the song. So, again, yeah, the only thing she got to tell you is like, yo, they're sign they're signing me, right? And obviously she got signed for 600,000. He probably was going to look at it and be like, yo, let me get 200,000 out of that cuz he wants to get paid for the song. Right? That's that's all this is. The nigga just want to get paid for the song, but he's probably a little bit salty that this is his only check he finna get. Of course he'll get paid from like, you know, publishing on the song and and whatever whatever, but after he gets this check and he sells the masters of the song, Glorilla gonna have a whole career. He wanted. I personally think he wanted to sign Glorilla to him or Glorilla to include him into her deal. No, people only care about the star. It's like Mealy Maw and Ruri thinking that. Oh no. Well, well, what about us? Nobody cares about y'all. People care about the star. It's only the star. Okay. So, like, this is why he's kind of like, bro. You don't got no leverage on this. Like, oh, I told you today. Told you in manager day we were with Sweetie that label's gonna sign sign you because of the song. Yeah, they signed. She was hot because of the song, but they're signing her. Her whole career isn't that song. Like, my nigga, what's gonna come down to? And let me tell you how labels work. This is exactly, because I've seen labels work like this. The labels, so CMG, who has a partnership with, uh, I believe, uh, Interscope. Is it Interscope? Who do they have a partnership with? Gotti CMG signs deal. Let me see. Um, who did they sign to? Is it Interscope? Oh, it's Interscope. It's Interscope. Yep. Interscope, as I said. Okay. So let me tell you exactly how this is going to go down. And hit a kid, if you ever see this nigga, yes, I could predict the future because I've, I've seen this before. You're a nobody in the music game. Okay. Not disrespecting you. That's just the reality. You're a nobody. Interscope Records is going to come to you because, number one, Interscope Records is the backer of CMG. So CMG probably don't got those big lawyers to whatever, whatever, but Interscope is going to do the dirty work here. 
in the scope, somebody over there is going to step in, maybe a lawyer or somebody who cares about the partnership they have with CMG. And they're going to say to you, nigga, if you ever want to produce a fucking next song in this industry, you're going to sell that fucking masters instantly. And you're going to sell it, brother. That's all you're going to do. So you're not holding no masters hostage in no fucking music business. They'll blackball the shit out of you before you think you got you the boss. You're nobody in this game. Okay? I've seen, I've seen, uh, I've seen, hey, listen. I heard those conversations being had when that nigga Pierre Bourne wasn't trying to clear that song for 6 9 nigga. They said, if that nigga ever want to produce a fucking song in this music business again, he go, they don't care what his beef is with 6 9 he going to clear that shit. Bro, that's how it works in music business. They're going to bully you. Twist your arm. Shit's going down. Okay? This ain't, this ain't about no fucking, like, we're all friends. Hell no. So he's about to get up off these masters. Facts. Okay? So um, he's just trying to make sure he gets some of the money. I could understand his his self though, okay? I could understand like how he's thinking because of this. I'm gonna tell you why. He's probably looking at like your Glorilla, you're selfish. You went and go went you went and and um you went and got the bag without me. If you had went with me, I could have got a bigger check for the song and I would have just backed out the way. Now they got Glorilla, they're just gonna bully this nigga. You feel me? If, if if him and Glorilla was standing side and side where Glorilla was like, yo, yeah, yo, yo, you signed me, but you also got to pay my producer for the song because it was his song. You get me? He would have got a bigger check. Now they're going to just bully the shit out of him. And matter of fact, before they even pay this nigga, they're about to just go to court and just say, nigga, this was never your song. So you get what I mean? So he feels super salty. He's like, yo, not only did I, get, did I miss out on this check. You didn't stay with me until I got the check, and now you got your record label trying to bully me, talking about they're taking me to court, saying I never even owned the song. You get what I mean? So, of course, he's a little tight, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the the, the 27-year-old producer concluded that he did his best to protect the rapper, and he will always be a stand-up guy, staying on business and moral. However, it didn't take long for whatever to get back to Memphis MC, who responded to a personal page, called him salty for not signing Oh, yeah, for her not signing with his record label, Camp South Records. Nigga's been salty since I ran inside the group for nothing. Uh, it was like, one more thing for a lot. Yeah. He said, you signed the song away. Nah, he didn't sign it away for 50000 He 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 allowed the song to be used on on um, on um the project. You get what I mean? He allowed the song to. And he probably just used that 50 cape uh, price. Anyway. Did. Did Glorilla, did Glorilla um, drop an EP? I'm guessing it's her EP he's talking about. Oh, yeah, if, if he did that paperwork with the label, they're not leasing the song from you, nigga. They own the shit. Listen, bro, it's, bro, we talking about a fucking system with the best lawyers in the world. Some nigga out of, what the fuck, Tennessee ain't gonna be like, oh, no, whatever. No, yeah, the... the She's saying, nigga, you took 50K and you don't own the shit no more. You sold the whole shit for 50K. It's over. Damn. Huh, that's tough. Um, she concluded on her Facebook rant saying, niggas made so much money, I ain't made one cent. Because other than shows, but I'm still prospering, blah, blah, da, da, da. All right, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. If CMG gave you 50K, my nigga, trust me, they're not leasing your song, my nigga. They own your shit. So I don't know if you ain't getting niggas to read the... I, I, I'm sorry, like, bro, this is the music business, my nigga. They, they, do, they do bully tactics. Now... Now, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. There is a, is a way where like you know um, maybe could be telling the truth. I just don't think honestly, and I'm and I'm kind of like judging it here, bro. He's nobody in the music business. They're gonna they're gonna bully him. You get get what I mean? I'm gonna give you a different example. Like six nine owned um, actually, what song was it? And they put it on. Yeah, so six nine owned the masters to Fifi, right? Nicki Minaj put Fifi on her album, right? Was it Fifi or was it Trolls? No, it's Fifi, right? Yeah, they co-owned um, Trolls. Six Nines label owned the 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 um, masters to Fifi. 
they allowed Nicki to use it on her album. Okay, that's some quick paperwork. I don't even, I don't even remember. I don't even know if there was payment involved, but it could have been. Regardless, see, that's that's one thing, right? You know, but obviously, you're not gonna just take the nigga song and be like, you own it now. This dude, I just think that he, he's gonna be out of luck, bro. I'm sorry, he's gonna be out of luck. Somebody said what? Yeah. Coach and P called me about my my little baby antics. Bro, they're probably having a ball, bro. They're probably selling more records than anything now, nigga. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Like this week is going beautiful for little baby, my nigga. Like he's literally it's it's going amazing for him in terms of the promotion. You can't get better promotion than this. All around. Yo, if if you're a producer in um in Hit Kids position, number one, I understand trying to be tied to the artist, but here's the thing. Every artist is gonna think for themselves, okay? You know what that conversation is, and I'm not accusing, I'm just, I'm just guessing here, but I'm usually probably a little spot on. I'm pretty sure they looked at they looked at um what's her name again? Gloria Lynn said, yo, if we do the deal with him and you, you're gonna get like four hundred thousand because we're gonna have to use the extra two hundred thousand for what this nigga talking about with the song. Or we could do it like this. We're gonna finesse this nigga thinking you're using it for EP. He's signing away the masters for us to use in perpetuity. And us to collect on any uh, on on all the versions that we put up, and maybe he does own a part of it still, but it's gonna be damn near irrelevant, right? We'll give you six hundred thousand. Fuck that nigga. And you know you know what Gloria Le Price said, bitch, give me that six hundred thousand. Fuck that nigga, man. <laughs> bro, that's just how the game go, bro. Like nigga, y'all not no team. <laughs> this is how it go, man. So as the industry nigga should well, well you gotta realize, bro, the the industry, yo, yo, let me tell you this. Bullying happens in the industry all day. Nigga, you know why, you know why a little pump signed back to Warner, nigga? Remember when, when he was like he a free agent? Nigga, he was with the Lights Global, nigga. Warner Music Group said, you, you know all these labels, even though they compete, they're friends. They said, yo, these motherfuckers, because they finessed the label. They got him off on some he's a child. He shouldn't have never signed the contract. They had to return all the masters back to him. Yo, he got off. Yo, uh, Warner Music put it out and said, yo, the, the, his management team, which was Lice Global, he says them niggas are banned from any Warner building in the whole world and basically told Sony and UMG, y'all better not do a deal with these motherfuckers. They just finessed us. Yeah, and everybody looked around and be like, yo, yeah, we competing, but if you're doing it to them, you could do it to us. They stood in solidarity, nigga. Lil Pump went right back there. The fuck? Bro, they're going to bully you in this industry, my nigga. Like, you, you, you're not going to come in and just stick the game up, nigga. Like, the fuck? This is a system that's been taking advantage of people for years, decades. And then when, when Pump came back, they signed him with a new deal. They gave him a new deal, and they, quote, unquote, rebought the Masters back, right? So Pump still thought it, like, they did it so cool. They gave him a longer contract. He thought he still got the finesse off. They got him back in tow. And, yeah, they owned the album, which is they wanted to own, make sure they own the original Lil Pump album. How the fuck do I know that? Come on, man. It's easy to know stuff in the industry, bro. Managers, lawyers, executives, they're all my friends. Ask anybody who, who knows the real. The lights global, Dooney and them, 
when they try to finesse Warner, Warner said them niggas is if are banned from every building in Warner, which means Atlantic, um, um, Asylum, all that shit. They wasn't with it. You're not gonna finesse a fucking. You know who owns the motherfucking Warner Music Group, bro? Some Russian niggas, bro. Who owns Warner Music Group? I, it's 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 public now, but um, look up these motherfuckers right here. Len Blavatnik. This is how ill the music business is. And this is how rich niggas is, by the way. Let's look at net worth. You think he give a fuck about a rapper, nigga? This is a nigga who owned Warner Music Group. Let me, let me show you about money. He owns Warner Music Group. So all y'all favorite rappers on Atlantic and all that shit, they, they all rapping to get this nigga rich, right? Yo, he has a son. I met with his son, actually. His son is mad cool, a fan of mine. I love him. Yo, I heard he gave his son a no. He gave his son Atlantic just to fuck around. Like he don't give a fuck. Like this is how rich this guy is. His son, I don't. I might be putting shit on blast, but fuck it, right? His his, his son basically is runs like. Oh, let me see where's his son at. Children. Let me see. Let me see. Children. Son, he has a son. Where is his son? Uh, here's the family. Where is his son? He basically just gave his 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 son into hip hop. He just gave him like a hip hop label. Like, have fun. You know what I mean? Them niggas is rich as fuck. They don't give a fuck about losing money like that. 